I'm Jeff, and this is Lithic Metals. Welcome to the lab. Today I'm going to pour this beautiful 5 ounce gold bar. So let's do it. I've got 5 ounces of gold all pre weighed, ready to go. We're going to get it melted in the melt dish here. And I'm using an oxyacetylene torch. If you're familiar with those, that's a cutting tip. And uh, a couple people have asked me why I use that tip. It's just what I'm used to. Here's for the first pour here. Kind of splashed out. Lean forward. I'm still getting some great ripples here, but uh, the bottom right corner didn't really form very well, so I knew right away that it's going back in the dish. All right, we'll get it heated up again. Get that mold up to temperature. And here we go. Flopped out again, kind of sprang forward and misformed that front right corner again. Still is fine. It was, I got some great ripples out of it. Looks gorgeous. It wasn't. It just wasn't fully formed in the mold. So it's going back in, but I did admire it. It looked nice. All right, we'll give it another shot here. That mold nice and warm. After that second bar, that mold is definitely up to temperature. Uh, it happens quick, but I do shoot it with the laser every once in a while and check the temp. All right, here we go. Another nice pour. Uh, it was okay. It was uneven and the cooling pool is kind of sloshy now so i'm keeping the torch closer to buy me some more time to get control over it and i'm losing it and it's overheated and that wasn't it look at how red hot that mold is yeah a little overkill out here yeah i tried to save it and it just it wasn't happening but so at this point i'm like come on let's do this you know i you don't always expect to hit a home run right on your first swing, but after a few whiffs, it gets old. Here we go. Well, I slowed it down a little bit, but you can see it like pours, it pulls itself out of the dish. Gorgeous. Great cooling pool there. Great control. Nice and centered. It, it, that's the exact bar that I was shooting for. All the corners are well formed. I knew at, th at this point I got a big adrenaline rush going through me. I'm going, yep. I'm looking at the newest, most beautiful bar in the world right here. So a little shaky, but I'm having a good time. So I'm gonna cool it down quick. Ah, it cools down quick, it cools down fast, but I dip it a couple times, buy myself a few more seconds, let that heat dissipate through that water. Goes right to a paper towel and to the scale to double check it, nine one thousandths of an ounce over. That's exactly where I wanted. I like them just a little bit heavy. All right, I size it up, make sure I know which direction I want the bar to be. It's usually pretty obvious. Aye, aye. And we'll get this first mark. All right, after that's done, I'm gonna do the symbol for gold up in the right top corner. And then I'm gonna, I always do my center punch uh, which is a lithic point, a stone point, or arrowhead. There it was right there. Most folks would say arrowhead. Um, I'm a collector of, of Native American artifacts. I, I love to flint nap. It's one of the reasons I got into metals and, and, and stone and everything else. So beautiful. Just want to double check it there, get some reflections out of there. It's like looking into a gold mirror. So, All right, I took it outside. It's a cloudy day. Uh, so it's not the best lighting, but we get to see what the bar looks like. Some good ripples on there. It is a beaut. There's that lithic point in the center. All right, number 16. It's my 16th 5-ounce gold bar. I hope you like it. I put the COA in a plastic bag, but more importantly, I have the bar sealed in a uh, vacuum-sealed plastic. Now it's protected. Now I can handle it without freaking out too much. Uh, that mere finish will scuff at the slightest touch. Just a tissue sliding across, it'll scratch it. So I like to get it protected. Now I can actually touch those ripples and feel that texture. There's the back. I often forget to show the back. Uh, but yeah, here we are. Feels great in the hand for sure. For sure. It's a beauty. 
All right, I hope you like it. I'm Jeff, this is Lithic Metals, and I'll see you next time.